Yo, what's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to make these really cool looking star explosion motion graphics in After Effects. And yeah, they're super simple, so I'd say let's just start. So let's go into our new composition and let's add a new shape layer. And open this up, make sure it's on top of everything. And yeah, first of all, let's add the ellipse and also add a stroke so we can actually see something and just increase the stroke brightness to something like 45 just like this and let's animate this thing so let's go to the beginning open up the ellipse path and bring this down to zero and just place the keyframe and then go forward to like one and a half seconds and bring this up to a decent size something like this should work so now we can see this is animated, but it doesn't look like an explosion at all. So let's make this a bit more fast at the beginning. So for this, let's open up the graph editor with this tab and press on the size again and click the easy ease setting right here. And let's press on the first keyframe and just bring this up. And now as we can see, this will be really fast at the beginning and then slow down just like explosion. And yeah, that's exactly what we want, but this doesn't vanish at the end, so we have to change this real quick. So let's also go to the beginning and put in a keyframe at the stroke brightness and then just go to the end and also put in zero in here, just like this. And now as you can see, yeah, it will vanish really smoothly, but maybe we can also bring this keyframe a bit to the left. so. It won't just stop at the end so look a bit smoother even so yeah but this is a circle and we want a star but we can make a really easy thing by just applying the pucker and bloat effect open this up and play with the amount and as you can see as we turn this into a negative value we get this cool star shape and yeah now we have this really cool looking star explosion and it's super simple and now of course we can just change the size a bit maybe make it a bit smaller press ctrl d to duplicate it and just move it around scale it down or up and yeah just place it on the timeline and now we got multiple cool starburst animation effects and yeah, we also can give them a drop shadow, of course. So just type in drop shadow in the effects tab and apply it. And just give it a bit softness and just increase the distance a bit. Just like this, however you like. And yeah, that's it already. 